With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi, in this question, how can Newton's first law of motion be obtained from second law of motion? Now, we know that Newton's second law of motion is Newton second law of motion. Newton's second law of motion talks about the force. So this states that it states that that the rate of change in momentum, the rate of change in momentum, the rate of change in momentum is called force. Is called force. That means F is equal to change in momentum that is delta P change in momentum per unit time. Here P is the momentum. Now change in momentum will be P final that is final momentum minus initial momentum PI that is initial momentum per unit time. Here where P is momentum and T is equal to time. Now P final, P final here force is equal to P final. So final is equal to M into V product of mass and velocity is momentum. So we here we have to multiply the final velocity. So M into V final minus M into V initial final velo initial velocity by time T. Now taking M as common, so M as common. So this becomes final V final minus V initial by time T. So this is equal to four. Now force is equal to m into v final minus v initial by time. That is rate change in velocity per unit time. And we know that change in velocity per unit time is equal to a acceleration. So force is equal to m into a. Now when if f is equal to zero, if f is equal to zero, a is equal to zero. That means a is equal to 0 means v final minus v initial by time t is equal to 0. A, x, a is equal to 0 means acceleration is equal to 0. So from this equation, it is clear that final velocity v final is equal to v initial. Means, means if external force, if external that is f external is equal to 0, if external force is 0, body will body will move with same velocity same velocity now if if v is equal if v initial is equal to 0 if v initial is equal to 0 then v final will be 0 means if body is at rest then it will remain at rest it means If body is at rest, it will remain at rest. It will remain at rest. So here we see that this is this statement is the first law that that means if external force is zero, body will move with same velocity means if the initial velocity is vi then body will remain with velocity vi and if the velocity is zero means if the body is at rest it will remain at rest so these are the first law statement first newton's first law so we have derived newton's first law using newton's second law so this is our answer hope this answered your question thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today